So yeah, um, I, I changed it up a little bit for 2020. How y'all, how y'all feeling about this? First of all, Happy New Year. Um, this will be the first vlog kicking off the new year. Even though, you know, we didn't really tell y'all officially that we were taking a break. Because it wasn't. It wasn't meant to be a break. I don't know. It just seemed like a lot of stuff. January um, kicked off with a bang. Um, some good bangs, some bad bangs. It was just bang. Now, keep in mind, I did vlog. I vlogged all of January. And it just seemed like the vlog started backing up on me. And so... I just decided, like, you know what? We're just going to do one big vlog, and this is just going to be, like, an update vlog and me just recapping everything that took place in January. And so, and then we'll lead up to, you know, even the hair change and all of that stuff. So, I'm going to update y'all on what's been going on with us, and let's just jump right into it. So, the main thing, if y'all follow my Instagram um, the main thing a lot of y'all wanted to know was what in the world happened to Stefan's head? <gasps> so, I mean, Stefan is just, he's, he's Stefan. I don't, I call him, I call him my little Urkel because he is definitely like a little Urkel sometimes. So, yeah, we were chilling at the park. This was like the first week of January. This is how January started off. We were chilling at the park. Um, as y'all can see, Stefan is, you know, running around, playing with this little kid, and there's this little blind spot that he, they run behind. Um, this park is actually raised about three feet off the ground from, like, the sidewalk below it. So he's running around, the kid chased him, and because he went behind that blind spot, I'm not exactly sure how he fell. I don't know if he wasn't looking while he was running, or if his foot, maybe he got too close. I'm not sure. All I know is that the boy was chasing him. He went behind the blind spot, and the mom that was able to see from around that blind spot had to tell me that he fell. Yeah, why every January is starting off in Children's Hospital? Because of this one. You know, see? So it's hot. Not because of this one. Who wants it to be because of him, but because <laughs> of this one. How did you get that? Uh huh. How did that happen? I fell off the ground. He fell off the ground. He fell fell off the playground. It's pretty, pretty big, but we're at Children's Hospital, so they're getting ready to um, discharge us. This gave him some medicine. He doesn't have a concussion. Yeah, you took a pretty good fall, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tonya, what happened to you? I hurt my leg. You hurt your leg? Yeah. Saying I'm distressed about my brother. My brother shit my brother. <laughs> so yeah. He fell about three feet. The playground is raised up and the little boy was chasing him around and he fell off the playground onto the sidewalk that's like next to the playground. So it's a pretty dangerous park I guess. Um I don't know. How'd you do that, baby? Mm -hmm. How did you do that? Running. Uh -huh. You feel okay? Okay. Okay. I hope that's not permanent like that basketball player who Jennifer Williams was married to. So that ended up having us in the hospital, um, children's hospital for that night. Tonio wanted to steal the attention as you can see. But um, he is fine. They, they didn't find anything. He didn't have a concussion. I would not have even taken him to the hospital. But to me, I felt like he wasn't crying as hard as I was expecting him to. And then on top of that, it was weird because he didn't have a good nap that day. So when we got in the car, he was just kind of like, 
I'm finna take a, you know, I'm finna go ahead and take a nap. But, you know, they say once you hit your head, don't go to sleep. Because you may not wake up. So, but it was, so it was hard to try to figure out. I'm like, okay, I don't know if he's sleepy because he didn't take a good nap. Or is he sleeping from the fall? So I was like, well, whatever. We just gonna go to the hospital. And um, so we went. He was fine. Um, he's been healing really good. So, you know, you can barely see it now. Yeah, he could, he could. Um, another thing, if you have been following Instagram, um, the boys started daycare. So most of January was spent preparing them for daycare. The boys went to the dentist. We checked out Mint Dentistry, um, which is a big chain here in Dallas. It's a dental chain, but this dentist office is like so bomb. Let's show that thing on the Mr. Dentist appointment. <laughs> so they got their little iPads, Netflix, with the Incredibles going. This is such a nice little tennis office. Step on this little big boy. They're such a big boy. Cooperating. Big boy. You did really good. What you got? Toothpaste. Cool. Tony O, what do you got? Um, nothing. Okay. Um, so that was a good experience. I love mint dentistry. That that will probably be my new dentist now as well. Not probably. It will. It will be my new dentist. Y'all see this color? So I'm testing out this color here. I may do my actual hair this color possibly a little lighter this weekend. We'll see. Um, so yeah, this little wig that I got trying this color. You can see it better in the sun. So as you guys know, um, I just had that surgery and I experienced a lot of hair loss. Um, so I was kind of in between, okay, do I want to just go ahead and chop off my hair, do something like cute? For the new year or you know just go ahead and color it play with it because it's falling out anyway right i think i was looking at pictures of myself and as i was like going through the pictures i'm like i just i look the same in everything i'm kind of looking the same i've been looking the same for the last past 10 years so i'm like okay i want just i just want to look different which is why i decided to just do something very different, which was gold burgundy. So, cookies, so messy. Can y'all even recognize me? 
<laughs> I can't wait to see what Stefan and Antonio say though. Yeah. Look, you already bring to him with the yellow and the orange hair, so he's gonna think you just with my hair with bleach. All right. To get to this color, Antonio say, "Ooh, mommy's hair is pretty. You like it, Miss Sandy? It's pretty. Thank you. Good morning." Y'all, I woke up like, what did I do to my hair? <laughs> what? The boys had an interesting reaction. They haven't seen it this morning, though. They're probably like, all of that was a dream. So, let's see. So, I'm going to take my hair wrap down. Oh, my goodness. Antonio, come here. Come here. I want to put the curls back in it. I probably do want to get to my, my mom's house. Ugh. I put some oil in it so it's way down a little bit. I put some um, peppermint oil. Kind of stimulate my scalp. So when I get to my parents' house, I'm probably going to curl it back up. to do something um and I just decided to go with red because I figured that would be the most I don't know stand out for me and my brand um I just wanted something that would just really be distinct I actually had blonde before um I had blonde like in high school um and it's okay so yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about the new look I'm I'm Definitely going to keep this color for a while um, and just change up the styles every now and then. Who knows? You may see me with a bob. You may see me with a red pixie cut. I, I definitely want my, my big curly hair back. So um, I think this color is here to stay. Matter of fact, I know this color is here to stay for a while. So you might as well get used to it. Shout out to my mother-in-law. Who gave me the color she is bomb she's the only person I will let pretty much touch my natural hair another thing I had a chance to vlog in January was the Dallas black bloggers event um, and it was awesome check out a little bit of that clip hey guys. Brother, 
I will be asking for prayers for him. Um, he was diagnosed with cancer recently. And so that's been pretty heavy for our family. We spent a lot of time in the hospital in January, the beginning of January. Um, he's back home and we've just been caring for him and loving on him, making sure he's doing what he needs to do so we can get him back to a complete full recovery. Um, it's a, just a fight that we're going to have to deal with, but I'm optimistic. Um, I believe my family is pretty optimistic about it. My brother, he does watch the vlog, so y'all go ahead and drop him some line of encouragement in the comments. Send some love to Uncle Bill um, because we are all praying for him and, you know, We'll just be, we'll be there this whole step of the way. And other than that, just been playing around with some of my friends and the camera. We went and did some shoots. Well, not me, but um, I just was like little creative director in a shoot. Pee -pee. Yeah, pee pee. Go pee pee. <laughs> he gonna pee on himself because he gotta pee. with the boys being in daycare. 
um, I'll be able to be back on regular posting, hopefully posting more. And I also have a three month post surgery video coming up so that y'all can see my stomach because I haven't really talked about that. So it's been three months and I filmed a special update for you guys, for everyone that's interested in that. I'll be posting that next week. So the next couple of weeks is going to be kind of back to back because I want to catch y'all up as fast as possible. Um, but this one won't be too far off. Like I said, this is the week that Kobe died. So y'all are kind of caught up to speed leading up to now. And that's it to all of our new subscribers. Welcome. And I can't wait to have y'all a part of this journey. You know, we like to talk over here. We like to communicate. So get in the comments, talk, tell us what you think. And yeah, I have not went anywhere. I, I hope y'all didn't think I went anywhere. Just, you know, I had a lot to process with hospital visits for my, my baby, my brother, and trying to figure out what I want to do <laughs> and schedule changing and just kind of filling out 2020 a little bit you know what I'm not going to do is let one bad piece of news dictate how my year will go this is going to be a prosperous year for me my family regardless what may come my way um, and we're just going to keep pushing forward as well as I hope you do the same. Do not let bad things, bad things are going to happen every year. I've already been hearing people say, oh, 2020 has just been brutal. No, 2020 has been 2020. Life happens no matter what year it is, no matter the number, you know, and it's all about what is your mindset in 2020. So just keep pushing, stay positive. Learn how to deal with the bad, celebrate the good, and I will catch y'all in the next vlog. Bye!